guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. We're going to do a cloud pour tonight. This is my cloud mix. And I got this from Melly D. She is the queen of cloud pours. And I'll put that in the description. This is a 20 by 20 artist loft gallery wrapped, level 3, and colors. This is Pebio. Oh, these are, um, these are silicone wine glasses. Um, I don't drink wine, but I thought it would be kind of cool to pour in them because, uh, you have to get the paint out. This is Pebio iridescent green blue. Not blue green, green blue. So that's going to be my first color. And then I have the Konakadome. Nickel Azo Gold. And I mix this with some Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. Now I'm going to use a little bit of my cloud pour. This stuff's pretty powerful, so you don't really want to use too, too much. Okay, now I'm going to go with Maxim Magenta. And followed by Deco Art 24 karat gold. Oops, and there it goes. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Well, I'll probably put gold down when I'm uh, pouring it anyways. Okay. And I'm going to use a little bit more of the cloud pour. Just a little. And I've got this is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. It's one of my favorite colors. More of the video. And some gold. Is Intertech Basics Prism Violet. Looks like everything's sinking. I'm going to put some gold and some white. extender I'm going to use beyond this. So here we go. Oh gosh. All right. One thing I can tell you right now, these cups might not be the best to do a pour because they kind of leak down the side. Put enough cloud stuff in. I might have to redo this. We'll play with it. Wow, it's really colorful. So how you guys doing? I'm gonna give this a little bit of a um, little minute to sit. 
Looks like there's a lot of cells coming up. So I'm going to move this around a little bit first. See what I can get before I put the flow extender around. Now these paints are a little bit thinner than your regular straight pour or ring pour. They're supposed to be thinner so you can get those clouds. I don't even know if I'll need a flow extender. Let's go the round and round we go. Where it stops, nobody moves. Oh, I see. Lobbed out when you do Don't want to stretch that out into uh, the rest of your painting. That nickel ace of gold is really turned quite orange on me. go off that edge. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need a, uh, an extender. Down here where the weight of the paint is still down here. I'm get some of that orange off. Yeah, I'm not digging the orange. Sorry, Jen Neal. <laughs> we can keep some of it. <laughs> oh, one thing I'm loving is that now it's starting to, now I need my flow extender. It is starting to get, um, going over on itself, so I, this, that um, Kebio green blue is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why I don't put gloves on. I have a thousand pairs, if not more. <laughs> My flow extender has water in it, and you can see how it's um, feathering on the edge. Get this off a little bit. Now I'm going to go back to center. I do have enough uh, cloud pour in here. Clouds are certainly showing up now, and boy, oh boy, the colors in between them. Holy mole. Holy cow is how I say it. Let me turn this around. You know what, guys? I'm sorry. I meant to tilt this a little bit. There we go. So you can see what I'm doing. forget that the paints tend to dry darker so I always use darker colors and um, I gotta lighten up one of these days my scale is saying the same thing 
I have put on some COVID weight. Wow. That is pretty colorful. Let me take a look see here. Ooh. much more to it. I know it's going to it's going to develop some more. Um, oh, let me see if I can take that curl. I probably need to take this down because these cells are a little bit too big. Let me see if I can squish them without distorting too much out. I have to tend to. I didn't put enough uh, cloud mix in. I was sorely mistaken. It has bloomed, but I am in love with this. Oh my gosh. I, that uh, Pepio green blue is spectacular. And look at the veins there. Isn't that crazy? Oh, low battery. I have to do another one of these. This was, I guess, my practice one. I've done cloud pours before, but never had this kind of effect. And the middle is very, look at, I mean, look at the iridescence coming through. Holy jeez. That transparency. I knew the colors had popped up, but I wasn't sure just how much. <laughs>